Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to find the midpoint between two points and locating other points along the line. Before we begin, we want to talk about the definition of a midpoint. And a midpoint is defined as a location that is halfway between any two points. The most important word here that we're talking about is location. Because we're going to either find it on a number line, sorry, we'll either find the location on a number line, like a point somewhere, or on a graph. Unlike distance, distance was a measurement, a length, a number. Midpoint is talking about a location. So we're going to locate different points on a number line or on a graph to if we can find the midpoint. So let's get right to it. So here we want to find the midpoint between A and B, algebraically. I'm going to show you how to do it by hand using a formula, and then I'll show you another method here next using it without a formula where you can do it graphically. So you can do it on a graph. So the midpoint formula looks like this. x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. You're looking at finding the average of the x values and the average of the y values to find the location. So let's start with the x's. First take the x's, and I'm going to add them and divide it by 2. So I have negative 1 plus 1 divided by 2. Then I'm going to do, in a different color, the y's. So negative 1 plus 3 divided by 2. And all I have to do now is simplify. So I'm going to, I can put this into Desmos, I can solve them separately, or I can do this in my head. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So on the left we have negative 1 plus 1 is 0, 0 divided by 2 is 0. And then on the right we have negative 1 plus 3 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1. The midpoint between A and B is 0, 1. And that is a location on the graph. This is not a distance. This is not a number, a length, a measurement. This is a location. Let's try this graphically. If following formulas and equations is too much, maybe you're more of a visual person. So let's give that one a try. So here graphically, I'm going to start by graphing the points first. A is negative 1, 1. So this is going to be the value of A. B is 1, 3. I want to find the midpoint between these two. So I'm, it's going to be somewhere there between those two points in the middle. To do that, there's several ways. But the way that I want to show you is this. I'm going to draw a right triangle. to connect these two points. Now, I cannot find I cannot find the halfway point on the diagonal. I can't count halfway through here, but what I can do is I can count half of this side, the horizontal, and half of the vertical. And that's what I'm going to do. If I can find the halfway point horizontally, like right here, this is the halfway point of this side, and this is the halfway point of this side. When I connect these, it gives me the halfway point of the diagonal, the midpoint. So the midpoint here is 0, 1, as we did it algebraically. So if you're looking for the middle between two points, you can draw a triangle. Count the horizontal distance as if it were a number line. Count the vertical distance as if it were a number line, right? Find the between point, the halfway between points, and see where they meet. And that's going to give you the halfway diagonal distance, the halfway diagonal location, OK? Here, we are going to find an endpoint. So if you read this example, 
says, if 0, 0 is the midpoint of segment LN and 2, 1 are the coordinates of N, find the coordinates of L. So here the key thing to understand is that we're looking for the coordinates of L for this segment. So there's a segment called LN. L, N. Sorry about that. There's a segment called LN. I want to find the coordinates of L. So I'm going to plot what I have. I have the midpoint at 0, 0. So this is the middle of the graph. That's the middle. How do I find L if I know that N is at 2, 1? This is N. First thing you want to identify is where is L going to land? If this is the middle and N is on one side, then L has to be on the other side somewhere. It's got to be across from the middle and the other endpoint. So now we're, we have the answer. We have the solution as the midpoint. We were given that. We're trying to find the other extreme. And to do that, we're going to use slope or rise over run. So I'm going to count how far away I am from the midpoint, which is up 1 over 2. And I'm going to use that same amount to locate the other point, up 1 over 2. And that's how I find L. Whatever distance or whatever measurement I have here, however far it travels, it has to be reflected onto the other side because M is the middle. So if N is up, is up 1 over 2, then L should also be up 1 over 2 from the middle. That's the, al that's the graphical way. I'm not going to show you how to do this algebraically um, on this channel, but if you want, I can show you in person. It's a lot more complicated. This would be, in my opinion, if you want to find an endpoint, it comes down to doing it on the graph. But all of this comes down to, are you reading the word problem? If 0, 0 is the midpoint, you're given the midpoint. You're not looking to find the midpoint. You're looking at finding the endpoint. And that's the difference between the last example and this one. For the last thing here today, we're going to talk about how do you find a fractional distance. Okay, so we're locating points on a number line that is a fraction of the way. Technically, we've already been doing that. When we've been finding the midpoint, the midpoint is the halfway point. Right? So we're looking at midpoint is the halfway point on, an, on, the, on a number line. Now we're looking at other fractions. And in this case, the fraction we're interested in is one-fifth. So we want to find x on segment jn if it is a fifth the distance from n to j. So I'm first going to figure out what segment I'm talking about. I'm talking about j to n, from here to here. In that segment, I want to find where x is located if it is a fifth of the distance from there. A fifth the distance. So first I need to find the distance. The distance from j to n, you can count them, right? Count the points over if you like. It's going to be 10 units. 10 is the full distance. I don't want the full distance. I want a fifth of the distance. Right? If I want a fifth of the distance, I'm going to multiply the distance times the fraction I'm interested in. A fifth of 10. And that gives me 2 units. So I don't care about 10 units. I care about 2 units to find x. Now, I want to know where it's located if we're going from n to j. So I start at n, I start here, and I move towards j two units. So I'm going to move over one, two. And we land here. I move over two units. So the thing here to understand is several. One, we're not looking at the full distance. We're not looking at the halfway distance. We're looking at a fifth of the distance. So I first count the full distance, which is 10 units, and then I multiply it by 1 fifth so I can figure out what that fractional distance is. Once I find the fractional distance, I care about the direction in which I'm going. 
I want to go from n to j. So I start at n, and I count two units over towards j. And that's where x is located. So if I were to create a formula here, this is what I would say. I would multiply the fractional distance that I'm interested times the full distance. And that will give me the fractional distance that I'm interested in. Now, the fractional distance is not the answer. Remember, we're locating points in this unit. We're trying to find the location of a point. So you take the fractional distance, and you start counting on the number line to see where you're looking for. Where is it located? And in this case, x happened to be at 1. All right, guys, I hope this has helped. I try to do a few examples of this topic to, to show you things. If you would like more examples, let me know. Or if you have questions about this video, please comment below. Like. Subscribe, share to your friends, share to people, and as always, we'll calculate it.